Barav says, today I'm here at Megarian Carpet Armenia to learn about the Armenian tradition of carpet making, which is thousands of years old. Let's take a look. This carpet behind me is actually 400 years old and you can see the dye is still intact because these are all natural ingredients so they don't wear out over time. During the Armenian genocide, a mother gave her two daughters each half of the carpet and said, if you ever meet again, please find each other using this carpet. And 50 years later, they were able to find each other. Now I'm in the weaving center at McGarren Carpet and the coolest thing about this is you can actually see people making the rugs. All the rugs here are handmade. They can take several months or even several years. So let's learn from Julie how these rugs are made. You can come closer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is our production room and here we only make handmade rugs. The very first step, the very first thing that we do is creating the design of the rug. And our designers, they paint by hand on the square paper, as you see here. And this is the map for the weaver. And uh, then when we know the size, we start to weave the rug. But first of all, we are making the basic of the rug, this one. Yeah. And the basic can be woolen, as this one, cotton, as the other one over there, a little whitey, and also silk. The silk rugs we make in our Egyptian factories and uh, the woolen and cotton rugs here in Armenia. So when we have the basic, we start to weave the rug with Armenian double knot. If you ask me what's the difference between Persian and Armenian rug, I'll tell you first of all the knot. So Armenians are weaving rugs with double knot. In Persia, people weave with one and a half knot. So I'm going to show you the Armenian version Taking the first throw, passing it, second one behind, the colored one, we pass through the middle, hold it together, push it down, and then cutting it. Wow. So this is one Armenian double knot, and one square, one small square is one Armenian double knot. In one square meter rug, there are more than 160,000 Armenian double knots. And one square meter rug, one person, one weaver, will be for about 45 days. Wow. Imagine. Yeah. So during the day, one person on one square meter rug will weave only 10 rows. Like mm. this. We go row by row. Mm -hmm. By finishing the row, we are passing the middle yard to fix the... To fix the Roll, which I think it's here somewhere. <laughs> it's done like this. No, it's here. So we are passing this middle yarn. Mm -hmm. You see? Oh. The middle. Right. Then we need to fix it with a special brush like this. From the right side to the left end and then back. Then we are cutting. Mm -mm. Then we are cutting these leftover yarns with the help of the special scissor, like oh. this. You see? It has to be smooth, even. Even though we are still need to do the finishing touch, but still, we need to cut it evenly. You see? Mm -hmm. wow. And then we can start the second row, then the third row, and so on. Wow. So amazing. this is the whole process, and I would like to show you the biggest loom in Caucasus, uh -huh. like this one here. Let me switch the light on for you so you can see. So this is the biggest loom in Caucasus, and on this loom we can be for about 100 square meter rock. Wow. That kind of rock, 20 meters by 5, we wove for the presidential palace of Armenia. We wove for the Russian president. And uh, we wove for, you know, for so many famous people that I cannot even tell you. <laughs> so this rug is here, is uh, the order of Mer of Yerevan. And this has the symbols of the 12 capitals of Armenia which ever existed. 
Wow. So tree weavers, as you see, tree maps are hanging here. Tree weavers are weaving this rock, and I think they will finish this after one and a half year. Wow. So this size of the rocks, usually three or until like five, six people are weaving together. Mm -hmm. And uh, they usually last, you know, from the beginning to the finishing step, two years. Wow. I'm now on the backside of the carpet we just saw being made. And look at that, just so beautiful. The colors, the detail, everything about it. And as we just learned, it starts from this map and then it goes all the way to the final product down here using these strings. The precise detail on these rugs is just so amazing. There's hundreds of thousands of little, little nuts in there. So that carpet in the photo right there is actually thousands of years old. The original is now in Russia, but it was proven that it was made in Armenia because of this red silkworm right here. It takes a lot of those silkworms to make just a little bit of that dye. So here are some of the natural ingredients I was talking about. They make the different colors of the yarn. here in the showroom where I get to see all of these beautiful rugs in action. They're all handmade with all natural dyes and they have that special Armenian double knot. So this rug behind me has got to be one of the coolest things in the world. It is an aerial view of Etchmietzen Cathedral. It's a limited edition rug. Only 100 have been made so far. It's given to special guests like Pope Francis, Henrik Mkhitaryan, Charles Aznavour, and this one right here is actually for Mr. and Mrs. George and Amal Clooney in memory of the 100th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. They're all people who have contributed a lot to Armenia as a country. Cheers. Cheers. Finally, we're having a delicious dinner surrounded by beautiful rugs. Cheers. 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 So every region of Armenia has different styles of rugs and there's different stories behind each of these rugs in the museum. So you gotta come here to check it out.